Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. I had this idea. How much wood does Minecraft Steve actually cut through? So, I've given myself an iron axe here. I've built it, rather. It's, of course, the middle of the night, and there's nothing but phantoms out. But I'm going to go look for a tree. Now, a Minecraft tree is three feet thick. Or one meter. But you can see that Steve kind of just blows through it no problem. Let's get out of the range of my beacon here. But it still takes, you know, at most half a second to cut through the center of an entire tree. Which you might think might be a little weird, but consider... That a Minecraft day is actually only a few minutes long. A Minecraft day is in total 20 minutes. So, if we suss that out, oh, text message, um, a Minecraft day is 20 minutes, but a real world day is 1,440 minutes. You divide those up, you get 72. That's how much faster a Minecraft day is. And then if we multiply the half a second it takes to cut through wood, by that we get 36. So it takes 36 seconds to cut through a tree in Minecraft. Hey, so on the topic of doing stuff in IRL, um, I've got with me an axe. I'm going to go chop wood. I'm going to see what that's like, because I've never really done it before. Near my apartments, there are some trees. I'm not going to go after anything already alive because that's not cool. You know? Not what I'm about. But, there's quite a lot of dead wood in here. And moreover, a couple of weeks ago, a tree actually fell over on the path, impeding progress. They cut through some of it, but not all of it, so I don't really know what they're going to do with it. But if it's still there, I'm going to try to cut through it. We'll see how long we takes. All right, this is the culprit in question. It looks like it got struck by lightning or something, as you can see. And they cut through it a little bit. And even started cutting through this, but then they stopped. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be here a while, aren't I? All right, you know, I've got a tripod that I think might even fit my phone, but for whatever reason, I don't have it. All right, first little progress update. I'm chopping for about a minute. I've tunneled that far into it. That piece of wood there used to be on it. As you can see, it's very wet wood. Sorry. So, you know. Oh. Let's take a little break and catch my breath. I want to mention this is actually my wife's axe. I bought it for her, burnt her name into it. Which is just one of the many ways that makes me like Kratos. However, she's not dead, so got that going for me. Take that, Spartan. See, so yeah, this stuff is actually just. On the outside, it's falling apart. But it's a lot tougher on the inside. As you can see. All right, been at it for part f uh, for five minutes. I think I'm seeing part two, but right now I'm heading back to get my tripod so I can film a little easier. All right, hey, I took a 20 minute break. I got myself some water, hydrate or dihydrate, and I have my tripod also here. This thing just pays dividends, man. I initially got it to record face cam for Omori. Uh, and I've used it in every LP since, and it also fits my phone, so I'm using it for this too. So that's pretty great. All right, might just put my leg into some poison ivy, but that's okay.
lucky for me, I'm ambidextrous. So I can switch hands in case one arm gets tired. However, something I totally didn't even realize is how tired my legs are getting. I had no idea how much power comes through the feet from the earth. So, something to really consider when you're chopping anything. All right, so I kept tunneling another 10 minutes or so. It turns out this thing's actually hollow. So that might make my job a little easier in terms of breaking all the shit out of it. I've chipped away another inch. This thing's got a lot of inches. The thing that hurts the most, ironically enough, is on my hands from holding the axe, on my back from swinging it, or even my arms or my neck. Uh, it's my ankle. Um, I had to take a really long car ride the other day, uh, and I was in the car for like 10 hours, and just sitting there for so long made my ankle sore. And then I worked out yesterday, and I walked a lot on my sore ankle, which didn't give it a lot of time to heal. And uh, like I said, your power comes from your stance. Your, your hitting strength comes from how good your, fo your footwork is. And it's really hard to stay tough, but we're, we're getting through it. We're getting pretty dang through it. So you know. So taking a look at it from here, you can see the big scar I've cut out of it. And it actually looks a little better. But I wanted to mention this. It's the American Tomahawk Company. Yep. Hey, luckily my nails still look pretty all right, too. Back in. There we go. <laughs> It's really gratifying to know that I can pound an axe so hard into wood that it takes a little bit of doing to get it free again. I'm wondering what my neighbors think is happening. They probably don't care. This is the Midwest. You know? All right, next update. I've been out here for almost an hour, but I've only been hitting it for like 15 minutes, but you can see that I've carved a pretty decent cut out of this thing. I was trying to do this. Dang. That'll do. So I could hold this with two hands because I'm getting really tired, but it didn't work out. You're not really supposed to swing an axe one-handed. So, you know. But yeah, I've chewed through almost half of the whole log. So yeah, all right, I've hit the hour mark fully, completely. We've now been out here for a little over an hour and I've just realized an issue. Um, normally when cutting through a tree, you'd be able to go over, you know, walk around to the other side of the tree, but I'm coming at this tree from one side and I can't really flip it over. You can see it kind of wiggling, but not really. Anyway, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but hey, you wanna see what it's like to be hitting the chest with an ax? Another update. I pretty much mastered the uh, art of sticking that thing in a tree, um, which I've had to do frequently to take a break. I realize what my problem is. Because you swing down with gravity, gravity does like most of the work there, but you also push it down further with your arms, but a lot of it is in the wrists, and I have carpal tunnel, so my wrists and fingers are hurting a lot. They weren't earlier, but they are now. You might even be able to hear my wrist popping, but yeah. So, I mean, I've been out here for like an hour and 10 now. Might be a good time to head back. I've cut through I mean, it still looks like half. It's looked like half for a while. I don't really know what it's gonna 
not look like half. But, you know. All right, I'm almost at the two hour mark. My progress keeps slowing down. My brakes keep getting longer. But you can see that I've tunneled a pretty decent way through this thing. Show you on this side as well. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of cinders and lumber and or so all sorts of that high fist goodness. And yeah, you can see all the way in there. I wonder if I can even poke my phone in there. Mostly just wood. I don't know why I'm surprised, but yeah, it's a lot of wood in there, probably because it's a tree. So yeah, it's just, it's getting really hard to get, uh, to hit the right places every time. Cause I gotta, I gotta thread the needle all the way through this little, this little V I've carved here and on this side too. So, you know, not easy. I'm doing it, but it's not easy. And like, I've been here for almost two hours now. So let's, do another one of these, huh? <laughs> that one hit me in the mouth. <sighs> that was pathetic. Oh goodness, I'm getting so tired. All I've eaten today is three hard-boiled eggs. I think that might have something to do with it. All right. All right, I've hit the two hour mark. I've gotten most of the way through it, but I've kind of run out of stuff in my body to even keep this whole thing going. Uh, I got pretty far through, as you can see. Let's go to the other side. That one's very wide, so you can see. All the wood chips in the bottom and the fact that I have to go through the whole middle of the tree to hit the bottom are making it very difficult to get to the bottom to cut it with the ax to, you know, get this piece of the trunk off. I've been out here two hours. I feel like if this was a regular tree like upright and everything, I probably could have pushed it over by this point, maybe. Gotten it to, you know, timber and all that. Uh, because it's on its back, though, I, that's not really an option. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to give up at this point, just because I'm so sweaty and tired and hungry. I've been hitting a tree with an axe for two hours now. <sighs> so suffice it to say, Minecraft Steve is one sick puppy. <sighs>